just like to tell you a little bit more about the Urana campaign. Well, one of the first things I'd like to let you know is where the Urana Dam will be. Here we are in Mackay. If we head west along the, uh, the, the river, the Pioneer River and the Cattle Creek, we'll end up eventually up at Netherdale and then right up into Yungla. The Broken River that flows down through Yungla Dam, uh, right along another 12 kilometres downstream. Just before it reaches Urana Creek, it comes to Massey Creek, which is a beautiful place. And then a little bit further down here is Urana Creek. Um, the plan that they currently have is to put the dam just downstream on the Broken River and it will flood all the way up in the Urana Creek right up to the boundary of the National Park almost. And it will also flood up the Broken River all the way up here into Massey Gorge and flood right up there as well. So it's a fairly big area that's going to be flooded by this dam. Not all of it of course because there's some high wet ground in there. but it's going to be the second largest dam in Queensland after the Vertican. Since then there's been about 18 or 19 or maybe more studies uh, done uh, to, on dam proposals for the Urana Creek and each and every one of them has been rejected. As a result of our Swim for Our Rivers campaign last year, we were able to employ an economist to look at the preliminary business case that's been put forward for this current Urana Dam proposal. And the outcome of that was that the economist found that the benefits of this dam would only amount to 26 cents for every dollar that it costs. So the dam doesn't make any sense for the Queensland taxpayer at all. One of the things that's really been a surprising outcome of our campaign so far is that we've found that farmers up in the Burdekin, who are supposed to be the beneficiaries of this project, are actually opposed to the Urana Dam going ahead. So what farmers have been calling for up in the Burdekin is more money for water efficiency and less money for building new dams. They say it will cost about a third as much to put proper water efficiencies in place as it would to, to build a new dam. Of course, for Mackay Conservation Group, the big issue around Urana is the environmental one. We're very concerned that this dam could mean the end of the Irwin's turtle. That species was only discovered in 1990 by Steve and Bob Irwin when they're on a fishing trip uh, in, in this area. The Owens turtle is only found in the Mackay region. It, it lives in a stretch of 25 square kilometres of uh, river habitat and it requires really special conditions in order to survive. This particular turtle has evolved in a very special way in that it, it can extract air and oh, oxygen from the surrounding water just like a fish. Uh, and, but it needs clean, well oxygenated water to do that. If we build a dam on Urana Creek, number one, it'll slow the water down and so there won't be as much oxygen in it. Two, it'll make it so deep that the turtle can't reach the bottom and forage for food like it does now. And number three, it's likely to become much more sediment filled, uh, just like the Burdekin River is. Uh, the Burdekin Dam was never expected to become as turbid as it is today when it was constructed. And it's likely that the Urana Creek, where there are much more erodible soils than anywhere else in the Burdekin Basin, will become even more turbid than that. Uh, if you look on our uh, website, you can learn more about the gastric brooding frog that uh, researchers like Conrad Hoskins at the James Cook University are going to be mounting an expedition to see if it still exists in Urana Creek this year. So, you know, that's a species that's believed to be extinct but there is a slight chance it could be still surviving in the lower waters of the, Burdick, of the um, Urana Creek. So we really want to see that species protected as well. But also there are some beautiful examples of uh, riverine habitat in that region. So the Urana Creek along with the Broken River and the Massey Gorge are considered to be a nationally significant wetland and that will be completely inundated by this dam project. The water from Urana Creek eventually makes its way to the Burdekin River. And what we've seen over the past 20 or 30 years is that the amount of sand that's moving down the Burdekin River has declined. And so the Cape Bowling Green, that long spit that comes out just north of Air and south of Townsville, uh, is, is being gradually eroded. And currently it's, it's only about 28 metres wide. It used to be about 140 metres wide. 
And so when that is completely eroded due to lack of sand replenishment, the ocean will break through and could damage the Ramsar wetland that is home to many migratory species at, at uh, Bowling Green Bay. So a lot of the water from this Urana Dam is earmarked for, for coal mining and other fossil fuel developments. So what we could see is uh, a, an increase in coal seam gas uh, or even coal mining uh, in the Bowen Basin and the Galilee Basin if the Urana Dam goes ahead. And we know that that should never be happening uh, because we're, we're heading into a climate crisis and we should be doing everything we can to stop that. We have, uh, in recent times, employed an economic consultant to do a review of the preliminary business case. And as I said, this dam will only produce about 26 cents for every dollar it costs. We've also been trying to present the Urana Creek and the surrounding environment to people by talking with academics who are working at universities around Australia. We had a, a couple of seminars recently, one with um, uh, Dr. Conrad Hoskins from J James Cook University and, Dot and Professor Michael Mahoney from uh, University of Newcastle. We've also spoken to Cecilia Cor uh, Villa Corda Rath and uh, Jason Schaffer from James Cook about their work on the Irwin's turtle and uh, the, the amazing research they're doing, including taking samples of water uh, from, the, from the river to determine whether there's any DNA of those turtles in those streams so they can get an idea of where it exists. And then uh, by doing on ground work, they can find out how many are there and the, the species uh, and population dynamics. The main bit of work that we really need to do this year is some community organising. And that's why we've employed Annabelle uh, to, to work for us, so that we can reach out to people in Mackay and let them know about the huge damage that this dam will do to our environment and the major costs that will impose upon the taxpayers of Queensland if it goes ahead. Um, it's a, there's a federal election coming up this year, most likely, and this dam is likely to be an issue in the electorate of Dawson. So we really want to make sure that the side of the story for the environment is presented to the people in Dawson and in uh, our region in particular. So that's part of the work that we're doing and I'm really glad that you've come along tonight to hear more about the Swim For Our Rivers campaign, which is our major fundraiser for this campaign. Thank you.